Oh, I got a, 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 I'm a Wesker children now. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, children. One second, I have to. One second, I have to. Run. Okay, no problem. Uh, I have, uh, I have that four, but it, um, four, but it, um, very limp. Very limp, so to speak. What the? Come on. What the? Hang on. Come on. Hang on. Sir, Hang on. Sir. Hang on. Hang on. Sir. Hang on. It was good a moment ago. Don't worry. It was good a moment ago. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Then? Then? Twist. 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 And don't fall. Twist. And wow, don't fall. This is really, wow, this is really... I'm having issues. Hang on. I'm having issues. Hang on. Okay. Okay. There. Okay. There. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It really... People are oh, saying we really have an echo. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna oh, you put get my that. headphones on. Oh, you get that. Sorry. Oh, wait. Sorry. I'm here. If my iPad falls, <laughs> don't get angry. Okay. Okay. Now, th there's no echo right now, okay, everyone? <laughs> All right. And then I'm learning how to use this arm because it's a coil arm. So I'm not sure uh, how that. Oh, that works. That works pretty well. Yay, it worked! Cool. How are you doing? Okay. Oh, I'm okay. How are you? Okie dokie as well. I need to, desperately, I need to go get a little trim because I'm getting weird wings and things now. And I need to blend. Um, but otherwise, actually, I'm doing pretty good with isolation. <laughs> I realize I don't like my... Yeah, me too. I, I say my, my lifestyle is all based on quarantine, so it's okay. I'm like... I'm, I'm at home, like, all the time, so it's okay wow. for me. <laughs> Look at all your Foucault's. That's cute. Yeah, do you like them? Yes, they're beautiful. There's a Wesker here. Perfect. I have a Wesker one. Oh, I have two Weskers. Should I show you my Weskers? No. No, uh, no don't show you my Weskers? That sounds no, cool. never. Oh, you haven't seen them. Let me show you my Weskers. Okay. No. Hold on, hold on. Okay, please. One second, one second. That really, I know it's okay. dirty, but I'm going to show you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. Gente, ele vai me mostrar os Weskers dele. A gente estava falando sobre quarentena e ele falou que ele tem que cortar o cabelo, né? Que ele está ficando meio que cabeludo demais, né? E, tipo, eu tô deixando o crisol. Minha raiz, gente, eu também da minha raiz. E ele foi pegar os Weskers dele para mostrar. All right. So, these were... Uh... One of these was given to me. Oh, I think. No, mine's a little different. So this is the first one I have. Oh, yeah, so a... cute! That's a Funko. Oh, isn't what? Oh, yours is not a Funko. I don't know how to follow these things. No, no, mine was made. Uh, was like handmade just for me. Oh, very cool. Oh, that's sweet. Well, this is my other Funko then. Oh! <gasps> wow! <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, I think um, I think Brad Duct Tape Hale is his handle. He got me this one, and this was given to me by my manager uh, Matt Dusing. So um, uh, I love them both very much. And now I need to put it. Now they have that phone. Okay. There we go. All right. So what time is it in Brazil right now? It's uh, 9 p.m. right now here. Oh, this is like prime time. That's perfect. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is we say this is horário nobre in Brazil. It's like the best hour to to show time something on TV. So this uh, is horário nobre. nobre. Uh, oh, I wish I could go back to Brazil. Do you miss Brazil? You should move to Brazil. Oh Come God, on. <laughs> no, I moved to Brazil. I would then go broke. Um, but no, I would love to. I definitely want to come back. And next time. I'm do you hear that static? That's weird. It's like a weird static that pops out of the blue. You don't hear it? Any static? Nope. No? Okay. Um, I, uh, I won't, when I come back, I have to talk slower. I'm sorry. When I come back, okay, please. I want to uh, go to both Sao Paulo, and then I also want to extend my trip and go to uh, Rio de Janeiro. And then Curitiba, please. And then Curitiba. Come visit uh, me. Is there, is there a way to, there's, is there a flight that goes there? Yes, oh. 40, 40 minutes from Sao Paulo, so it's really 
close to Sao Paulo. Well, maybe what I could do is go to uh, uh, Sao Paulo, then to your, your town, and then go to Rio, and then go back home. All right. Okay. I may have my plan All right. Right next time I go. And by the way, can you tell everyone about those uh, conversations we had about the plans you had uh, for this year or not? You cannot say anything. Oh, you know, uh, to be honest, I'm, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, the, well, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I will just put it this way. I was trying to figure out if there was a way for me to go to Brazil this year. And that was right before the pandemic happened. And once the pandemic happened, I definitely was not going to figure out a way to get to Brazil this year. But, I'm, uh, but that is not off the table for me trying to figure out how to get there next year. This I can say. Okay. <laughs> Let me translate to everyone, okay? Gente, eu disse, Douglas, ele tinha planos de vir para o Brasil esse ano de novo, né? A gente estava até conversando sobre isso uns dias atrás. Mas ele, infelizmente, não pôde, porque, né? Coronavirus! Shit is real! Shit is getting real! <risos> It's kind of weird to hear that pop out as all that beautiful Portuguese. <risos> yeah, sometimes it's hard. So sometimes I get a little lost with all the, 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 the switch to, from Portuguese to English and then the, I think you do it on the contrary. Well, yeah. <laughs> hey, you have a lot of followers. Can you guys come follow me on Instagram, which is at MRDC Douglas, and also follow me on Twitter, at MRDC Douglas. I need more Twitter followers. It's, uh, my old account got killed. And so this is a new account that, well, an other account that I'm trying to get to flourish, to blossom. So come follow me on uh, Twitter and uh, at, at Mr. DC Douglas, and also here on Instagram. Ok, I'll say that in Portuguese then. <risos> Gente, sigam a conta do DC Douglas aqui no Instagram, é Mr. DC Douglas, do jeito que vocês estão vendo aí, MRDC Douglas, e é do mesmo jeito também no Twitter, porque ele perdeu a conta dele do Twitter e ele tá tentando voltar a conta, então por favor sigam ele lá, tá bom? E digam que vieram pelo database, né, pra de vez em quando ele dá uns conteúdos de graça pra nós. Umas cortesias para nós. <laughs> ok, so... Um... I was in Tokyo uh, last month doing a job and I went to... Oh, what are they called? What are they called? The, um, not, like, not the soap clubs. What are they called? The, um, with the, uh, 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 the tea, the, the, with the girls and the, and the little cakes, the sweets in Japan. Do you, oh, you don't know anime, um, the whole anime culture. Those who know anime know what I'm talking about. Let's see if anyone tells me what it is. There's those little places where you go, um, they call it, is it called a Japanese? Maid cafe? Maid cafe. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so I went to a maid cafe in Japan, and one of the things they do is they bring you your sweets, and they do this little dance, and they go, doop, bada, doop, 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 and they always end with the, oh, and then they do this to your food. Oh. They, oh. So. It's really funny. On this gig, I can't tell you what I was doing, but we're doing mocap. And so we play a couple of main characters, and then also, no, not Resident Evil. We play main characters, and then also we do other minor characters, uh, or background people. And so I was playing, uh, Todd uh, Habercorn and I were in the background, and it's a military thing, and we're supposed to be looking at plans on a chalkboard. And we're just supposed to be in the background while they do their thing. And so he and I are whispering to each other, And we start talking about all the maid cafe stuff we saw, but pretending that it's a military plan. And so we're doing like, first we're going to surround them, we're going to bring it in, and then we're going to attack them right away. <laughs> so we're doing all the little maid cafe gestures in the background of this film, so of this thing, of this whatever it is that we don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's too bad. It's not Resident Evil. I saw hope growing, and then. You oh, destroyed my heart. I wish as well. I really do. And you know, I, I can't... I'll, okay, I guess I can tell you, because nobody's told me not to say this. I don't think that I'm done. Um, or at least uh, that, that me doing Wester is done. Because I was up for a... I'm trying to remember to talk slow. It's so hard for me. I was up <laughs> for uh, a video game uh, a while ago. Um, I, and it was for nothing 
it didn't, it was not a Resident Evil game, uh, but it was an interesting, like, uh, uh, I have to check out the new thing that's out, because I don't know if it's in this game or not. But I uh, was doing this voice for this particular thing. It's not necessarily a person. And, um, and they said, great, we want you to have a call back with the director wants to meet you and all that. I'm like, well, this is kind of excessive. But when it's excessive like that, it means it's usually a big, a big franchise of some game. And we never know what we're auditioning for. Uh, and I said, yes, that's great. So I had the callback time set and all that. And then they emailed me the night before. And she's like, I'm so sorry, Japan. Because uh, apparently it was also it's uh, produced at Capcom. Again, I don't know the name of it. Uh, but Capcom producers saw the list of who was coming for the callbacks. Uh, and they saw my name and they said, he can't come. He does Albert Wesker in Resident Evil, so he can't come to this audition. And that's all I know is I didn't get to go to the callback because they still see me as Albert Wesker. So that's a good sign, if anything. So. Yeah, and then know, uh, they know that uh, Wesker is popular. So I think so. sometime you will be back, I guess. Especially if they are really remaking Resident Evil 4 because well, Wesker is a character from this game. He is, but I also want to give a shout out to Richard Waugh, who does the voice of Wesker in the original RE4. He's a Canadian actor, uh, really accomplished. I wish I had his on-camera career. Um, uh, and he's a sweet guy. We had uh, uh, he and, uh, and uh, uh, Adrian Huff and I, we all met in uh, Sunset Boulevard uh, several years ago in my Hollywood and got tipsy together very tipsy together and um and he's a sweetheart um in fact most of the people that are in adrian's life are sweet are really sweet people everyone I've, he's introduced me to i don't know if you guys know adrian hoff he's been in several video games anyway not resident evil other other genres or okay. but sorry i'm talking fast anyway yes you are i'm uh, just understanding half of it sorry. but it's okay no I'm problem i understand the, the whole concept <laughs> I've had drinks with Richard Waugh, who did Wesker in RE4. He's a sweet person. And if they, they may decide to bring him back to, to do it instead, which I would completely understand, and it would not hurt me at all. Uh, but if he's too busy, then they'll have me back. And that would be awesome. Okay, I'll translate to people, okay? <laughs> Ai, gente, esse homem fala muito rápido. <risos> então ele disse que a gente estava falando, né, de ele voltar como Esker. Ele falou, eu acho que eu volto, porque eu estava no Japão, não estava fazendo mocap de Resident Evil, mas eu estava lá no Japão fazendo mocap de outra coisa. E aí ele falou que <risos> ele falou que ele ele foi reconhecido como Esker, assim, tipo, então eles veem ele como Esker. Isso é uma coisa boa. E aí eu falei do remake do 4, né? Mas ele falou que na verdade o Esker do Resident Evil 4 é o Richard Wong, então ele ia ficar, ele tipo, não ia se importar, né? Tipo, o certo é ser o Richard Wong, né? Que voltasse como o Esker. Mas ele falou, vai que ele tá muito ocupado, né? Então, e a gente torce pra que ele esteja. Eu gosto muito do Richard Wong também, mas o DC Douglas é meu brother, né, gente? Então. <risos> yeah, I was trying to, to make a breathing of our conversation to everyone, so I was trying to be. <risos> Quick. <laughs> hmm. Are they able to ask questions at all, or is it just you? Uh, is it just on this random feed that goes up? Yeah, uh, I'm asking. So I'm asking people to send questions. Uh -huh. Gente, podem mandar perguntas, viu? Se vocês quiserem, podem mandar perguntas aqui, porque não é só para ser nós, não. Uh, desde o começo é para a gente ter uma interação com vocês. Então mandem aí enquanto o Disse Douglas toma um. <risos> toma um drink, toma uns bons drink. Agora a Moni tava falando rápido, eu tava, eu tava falando muito rápido agora. Uh, deixa eu ver aqui. Know what I am, I won't stop. Uh, Draco is asking you about uh, which Resident Evil did you do, Wesker? Can you tell them? Uh... <risos> what the fuck? Can, uh, sorry, what was the question again? Uh, which Resident Evil games uh, have you uh, have you been at? Have I been in? Oh, it's been at least seven games. I'll stop this. Sorry. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't care how old I look. Hang on. Let's get. Let me find the right filter. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's wait. Um, so I've been in. Actually, I I don't. I couldn't even list them all. I can. I have to pull it up on a on a list here. Um, I can do that actually in one second. This is why I brought my phone out. I'm a good boy. Hang on here. 
It is such a beautiful <laughs> day here in Los Angeles right now. Um, okay, hang on. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. <laughs> Gente, ele tá procurando o filtro perfeito. Ele tá, tipo, Back muito up. louco. Okay. Uh, where, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Contact. Boom. Uh, book your con. Oh, I'm gonna need glasses for this because I'm old. Okay. É, alguém perguntou em quais Don't residentivos ele esteve. Like What? <laughs> Okay, hang on here. Uh, here we go, here we go. Where's Resident Evil? <laughs> I was talking to people, not looking at you. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Um, Resident Evil Umbrella Core, Resident Evil Teppan, Resident Evil Zero Archive Voice for Wesker Mode, Resident Evil Revelations 2, Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Fate of Two Worlds, Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles, Resident Evil 5, uh, Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. Yeah, there we go. That's it. How, how many answers was that? I didn't count. Oh. Right. So, <laughs> I was just listening to you. Really like you want to count? It's you... a nice filter. Yeah, it is. Uh, can you tell us about your experience with uh, Umbrella Chronicles? How was it? Because I have to tell you, I don't like Wesker in Umbrella Chronicles so much, but I think you are great <laughs> at Resident Evil 5. It's like, well, oh my God. Well, here's the thing. I don't, uh, to be honest with you, a lot of my... Um... Uh, a lot of the voiceover I did for video games and anime and anime video games from 2000 to about 2009 when I did Resident Evil 5, all of those, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't really think most of my work is that good. And I'll be honest with you, I think part of it is because I was literally coming into these sessions um, um, and because it, a lot of that stuff uh, didn't necessarily pay great uh, and they just wanted you in and out quickly. And they were kind of like, we want the obvious. So you'd give them the obvious in the performance. Uh, and, and I'm like, well, if it makes you happy, then cool. Cool. I didn't know that there were, were uh, uh, I didn't know that there were uh, conventions and such a large fan base out there and all of that. I really thought, I don't think they did either. Um, and so there's work that I would love to go back to and change completely or, or own better when I, uh, for it no matter how much it pays. So for instance, now, talk slow, DC. For instance, now, if I do an anime dubbing job, anime dubbing does not pay well at all. And, um, but it doesn't matter because I do it for conventions and because I really enjoy the fandom. Uh, but now I want to do a good job whenever I get the role. It doesn't, regardless of it. I know that they say all actors are supposed to do that. But on a busy day and you're fitting in a lot of things, you're kind of like, what do you need? Here, here it is for you. And you move on. Now I'm like, wait a minute, what is this? What's this franchise about? What's the fan expectation about? I tried to take all that into consideration. So when Umbrella Chronicles was the first time I ever did a Resident Evil game, I had no idea what it was. Uh, and I'd heard the name and that was about it. And when I went in, it was a voice match job, which makes it that much more complicated because I can look at the character and go, well, this is what I would naturally do with the character but that's not what the other actor did. So now I have to match that actor. And in that particular one, they were trying to match Peter Jessup's performance, who I know we were, we were with the same agent for many years. Um, and he's a sweetheart of a guy, super talented, amazing. Yeah, actor. he is. And, um, and I was listening to his stuff. He wasn't available for the gig. And I was listening to his, his, his performance. I'm like, I, that's a hard one because he's got, he had some weird little things he was doing with his voice in there which I've learned later, part of that was because he was also incorporating Richard Waugh into his performance. So now I'm trying to capture Peter Jessup, who's capturing Richard Waugh, into my performance. And, and, the, and the way I was directed for that, they were trying to keep me... Now, sometimes the directors of these sessions, they don't know the game that well. So they listen to a couple of reference lines and they go, I think you need to be more like this. So it's a lot of people feeling around in the dark to get to a performance and That, and because that is a weird game as well, because it's like a lot of um, monologues of stuff. And uh, yeah. so, yeah, so it comes out a little, I, I feel it comes out very awkward. I think most of my stuff seems very awkward in that game. Um, and Resident Evil 5 was more straightforward as to what I could do, except for the fact that on the first day, 
I'm expecting to do that Peter Jensen voice style. And then they play Richard Waugh. And I'm like, I've not listened to him at all. <laughs> I didn't know who he was then. And uh, so on the fly, I had to kind of bring his performance in, but I still had Jessup's in mind. And then also Wesker's going crazy, so I want to incorporate my thing on it. I want to implant, imprint my idea of it as well. So, um, so it, was a, it was a very quick yeah. learning curve. <laughs> Yeah, too many Weskers actually. Many so Weskers. sometimes they want you to to match the other one, and then you have to add your all personality to the the character. So well, I totally understand. It's and it's Re Resident Evil Five is like amazing. It's always a balance between what you want to do and what the producers want, and they're paying you. So I want them to be happy, but I have to find how I can be happy within that. And I did that more so with Resident Evil Five than I did with Umbrella Chronicles. Yeah. Translating. Okay. Okay. Good From luck. English Good to luck. Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> Não! <laughs> Gente, ele basicamente ele contou que no Umbrella Chronicles foi o primeiro trabalho que ele fez como Wesker. Então, tipo, ele, ele tinha em mente o Peter Jessup, com quem ele já tinha trabalhado anteriormente. E aí foi uma coisa muito de combinar a voz. Então, ele mesmo também tinha que deixar os próprios diretores felizes também. Então, por isso que a performance dele no Umbrella Chronicles foi tão diferente do que a gente depois viu no Resident Evil 5. Porque ele estava com o Peter Jessup em mente. Só que aí mostraram o Richard Wogg para ele. E aí ele ficou sem saber o que, que ele fazia. Então, é, era uma coisa de... <risos> I'm trying to speak. <risos> I'm trying to concentrate here. Can you help me, please? Thank you so much. E aí ele falou. <risos> e aí ele falou que as pessoas não estão nem prestando atenção em mim, mas ok. E aí ele falou que foi isso, muito isso também. E aí no 5 já ele teve que. Ele teve que. Aí sim ele adicionou a personalidade dele. E ele falou que a maioria dos trabalhos que ele faz. Ele muitas vezes só chega lá e faz, e depois ele não gosta do resultado, mas é aquilo, né, gente? Manda quem pode obedece quem tem juízo, não é verdade? Um, if we have more questions. Oh, I saw one. I saw one question. It was from. I lost the person who asked. Uh, your favorite moment as Albert Wesker in Resident Evil 5. It's from Alessa Wentz. I. I. You see, I don't. I'm not a gamer, so I don't, I only, uh, so I have friends play games when I want to see them. I'll play a little bit, but then I die too much. Uh, so my friend uh, at the time played Resident Evil 5 for me, but she had played the game probably 50 or 100 times. So she went really quickly through it. And I, so I didn't really get the full gist of it. Um, I'm sure I missed a lot of cut scenes and, uh, So and I didn't think the, I didn't think the game was that great, um, but <laughs> I wasn't playing it, and we moved through it like we finished it in a day. So I assume we didn't see everything that you can see. It's it seemed to me like kill zombies, break things open, get treasure, move on. That's all I really. And then these interstitial, these little things in between the scenes that mean nothing, that have nothing to do with what you're about to see which was aggravating. Um, yeah, any like any favorite sentence, something that uh, I don't know, it's remarkable for you. I don't care what you want me to say. I'm going to be more complicated. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> but, uh, well, okay, my favorite line is the one that I didn't even think was in the game. I thought they were pulling my leg. And that was, you will give me an egg or I require an egg. Give me an egg, damn it! Those, those like weird lines. So. It's from the mercenaries mode. When you play as Wesker, you have oh, the right? you have the time to get points by killing the zombies. The the Magini, that's the the name of the the zombies in Resident Evil 5. Oh. E now translating, okay, from English to Portuguese again. Gente, ele falou que yeah. Ele falou que ele 
na verdade, ele não sabe jogar, e aí, tipo, a amiga jogou pra ele, e ele achou que o jogo nem é tão bom assim, porque é tipo, ah, você mata um zumbi, daí você abre um tesouro, daí você passa uma porta, daí você mata mais zumbi, aí você pega um tesouro, daí você abre uma porta. Basicamente, ele resumiu Resident Evil 5, né, gente? Então, é basicamente isso. E ele falou que são essas as frases favoritas dele, né? You give me an egg. You give me an egg. No. Ok. <risos> Not a voiceover. Ok. I liked it. Really? <laughs> By the way, someone asked about uh, how it, how is it to be a voiceover actor? Um, how did you become a voiceover actor? Those are two questions. Um, so, uh, how is it to be a voice actor? Well, prior to the pandemic, prior to Corona, it was a, it's a great job. Um, better than I realized early on. So much so that I now am really picky if I'm going to do on-camera work because uh, the freedom voiceover gives you when you have enough work is um, remarkable. Um, as far as the kinds of roles you can do and, um, and the ease, uh, I shouldn't say that. I don't want it to be confusing. There isn't, once you uh, have studied acting and, um, and it, you've clicked in and you're good at it, the ease of the work is so nice. Um, it's actually very hard beforehand, especially if you start in voiceover and you don't start like on stage as an actor. I started doing theater when I was young and then I went into film and TV and then I went into voiceover. And I think that that is much better training for voiceover work. Uh, but I'm also a lazy actor. And so I don't get as much work as I could because I don't have a hundred dialects and I haven't, I don't have a re repertoire of 40 cartoon voices. Um, anyway, so that's what it's like. So to be a voice actor, there's freedom when there's work right now, scary as hell. I'm not getting a lot of work at all. Um, the, uh, and then how did I get into it is a really long story. and I won't bore your people with a lot of fast talking English. <laughs> So I'll just say that um, I'll just say that I fell into it over a period of 10 years. And then so, for instance, I moved to Los Angeles in 1985. I'm old and I, I started pursuing acting in 1990 fully. Um, and I didn't start having a voiceover career until 2002. So 12 years. Ok. Gente, ele falou que ele se mudou para Los Angeles em 85, daí ele começou a trabalhar lá em 90, e só como dublador que ele foi trabalhar é, em 2002, e tipo, ele tá... Ele falou que dá muito mais liberdade para ele ser dublador do que ator, né? Porque, enfim, mas ele falou que agora tá meio complicado. Letícia said the best sentence ever. Can you say that? Complete global Isolation. Isolation would be weird because that's not the line. Oh, but for the pandemic. Okay. All right. I've waited for this moment to tell you how perfect this is. This is my plan to ensure complete global isolation. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes. It's like uh, Albert Wesker created the coronavirus to make everyone stay no, no, home, no, no. so it's complete global isolation. <laughs> no, but just so you know, that's, it's very important for especially, think of how sensitive the people at Capcom are about this, especially because they had a game come out right when all this was happening. There, I mean, there is, sadly, there's a lot of death associated with what's going on right now. And, and I don't mean to like, but it's, it's important that as a representative of, well, as an informal, unpaid for representative of Albert Wesker in the Resident Evil franchise, I do, I think it's important to know that one is fantasy, one is just sci-fi, and what's going on right now is actually real and very sad, and hopefully we get past it. And so it's, it's, it's I know it's fun to want to like make the connections and the jokes, but it's, um, It, it can be hurtful to the brand of Capcom and to Resident Evil. And so it's just for right yeah. now. And so I think it's important to keep that in mind. So, sorry. Oh, I said of course. 
Uh, by the way, do you remember Arthur? Uh, Arthur from BGS, your friend at the bar. You two I, I, were getting drunk together. I have a lot of friends at bars. Um, <laughs> In Brazil, man, come that, on! Yeah, After no, BGS, there's actually this one waiter who got me all my. He gave me the best apple martinis I've ever had in Sao Paulo. Um, in this little, I when I. I have to tell this. So when I uh, uh, went to uh, there last year, like, yeah, last year, and um, I, I, I picked a hotel that was right near the the art area, the arty area. What, do you know what that's called again in the downtown area there? It's where, it's the big, big road with all the bars and clubs and... It's uh, Santana. It's nope. Called? Santana. I, I remember the name when I was there and I can't remember now, but it's... Yeah, it's really on one. Yeah, on of one, course you were drinking. And also, I, I'm, I'm bad with languages, languages, and including my own. The there's a giant boulevard there where my phone got stolen. That has every Sunday they have a big walk through, and then on the other, and then there's the streets, Main Street with all the bars, connects that all the way north to towards BGS. It's Rua Augusta, something like that. Avenida Paulista. Avenida Paulista is the big one, right? That's where the um, that's where the 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 the, the thing was. Um, I just can't remember okay. the other thing. Anyway, I I got a hotel specifically to be near this arty area, the trendy hip area of uh, downtown area of Sao Paulo, and and I heard about all the bars are in this one place. So I got out and I got turned around, and I went in the opposite direction of where all the bars were. And I'm like, I don't see any bars around here. I crossed over the freeway, and I'm like, there's nothing here. And then I see this little side street take the side street and it gets a little sketchy but then all of a sudden I come across this one block of like seven bars all in a row by a park and it turns out this is not the area that I was supposed to go to but it turned out to be like my little private area I went to every day um, and there's this one cafe that uh, I think it was a might have been the gay part of I don't know might have been the gay part of that I only knew was my waiter was gay and he was hitting on me hard um, but he they made the best little apple martinis So I'd go there every every night and get my one or two apple martinis before I had to go wherever I was going. So I um, what's my point of telling the story? Anyway, he's one of my friends at a bar in Brazil. Uh, but okay, I sort of vaguely remember. By the way, we, I met her. We all hung out together. Yeah, we had drinks together. Yeah. And by the way, I was asking you about Arthur. Do you remember Bar do Justo after BGS? Uh, we were supposed to meet at a bar. After BGS, the last day at BGS, yeah. that you went to a bar, and then you sent me messages like, where are you, girl? I uh, vaguely remember this. What happened? Did we ever get together? Yeah. Well, your drunk friend is there. Artur Pieri is there at the chat. Oh, is he there? Well, hello, drunk friend. <laughs> <laughs> That turned out to be like um, it didn't even seem like a bar. It was like a ca like a cafeteria, not a cafeteria, but it was like it was very brightly lit. Like a restaurant. Thirty, thirty, like there was like thirty people in there. So like they were all for that was trippy. That was all for BGS. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was trippy. We were at Shota Nakama concert, so we went afterwards. And then you were like sending me messages like, where are you, girl? Where are you, girl? And I was I like, was okay. And then I walked over and then you all got up and applauded. And that was like, I didn't, was not expecting that. <laughs> hey, is Tata? <laughs> is it, do I have her name right? Tata? Tatanya? Tata Batista? Yeah, yeah. Is she on this? No. Oh, well, then she's not here. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, uh, more questions, everyone. Gente, querem mandar mais perguntas? A gente estava conversando sobre as nossas aventuras, desculpa, por São Paulo. Ele contando, né, do celular dele foi roubado e tudo mais, né? Então, de qualquer forma, foi muito legal. Inclusive, a gente fez uma... A gente chamou ele para ir pro bar e aí a gente ficou no show do Xota na Cama. E aí ele ficava mandando mensagem, cadê você e tal? E o pessoal não sabia que ele ia. E aí ele chegou lá com uma camisa... What was the, the shirt you were wearing that day with it was like purple with some oh, yes, my little um it's a shirt I got in New Orleans, New Orleans, baby. Uh in New Orleans. Um it's a uh uh I guess they call them it's kind of like those vampire shirts. Um 
fluffy, but it's also renaissance, renaissance? it's renaissance, I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, that's what I was wearing that day, and I popped the button. Yeah, I still haven't fixed it. I have to fix that button. Um, it goes with, actually, this, this marcher's vest as well. It's a very fun outfit, so, yeah. So I, I wore it. That was when I was, ju I just started growing my hair long in June. So, and that was in October. And I was like, even at the time I was like, I was just getting into the awkward stage. Finally, I'm getting to the long stage, except this is unkept because I haven't seen a barber, but barber, a stylist. But uh, yeah, but I remember, so I wore that thing there and I was trying to keep my hair looking hot and all, I ended up looking weird. And then I popped a button. The whole thing was a nightmare. <laughs> <risos> Gente, ele tava falando que a camisa Ele tava com uma camisa roxa No dia que ele chegou no bar Que parecia tipo uma camisa de vampiro E tinha uns babados assim Então foi um Foi muito engraçado porque Diz que ele chegou no bar e ninguém tava esperando Daqui a pouco chegou lá o Wesker Chegou no bar e todo mundo bebeu com o Wesker Tirou foto com o Wesker Comprou batata frita pra comer com o Wesker ele, Quando eu cheguei ele falou Você tá atrasada? Onde você tava? Esse tipo de coisa Foi muito legal um, Here is a question Actually a message from Sony, he said, Sony Bauer from Queenson Head Elder. We did the live stream some time back. Just wanted to thank you for providing your Wesker file reading. The video came out great. Beautiful. I, I don't recall this, but yay, I'm glad. I'm very glad. <laughs> you don't recall it, it's a baby. While well, I was there too, well, I wasn't really jet lagged. I was just tipsy. Um, but. <laughs> But, uh, At least Western Report 2, do you remember we did together? I, I remember, yes. Okay. Yes. It was five parts, by the way. So, so. Did I do that stream at, at BGS as well? Sorry? The live stream he's saying that I did, oh, no, was that at BGS? No, it's from Crimson Head Elder, another website. Oh, I know the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember what I did for them. But okay, well, cool. I'm glad it worked out well. So, yeah, yeah. The, um, uh, uh, I, Yeah, the years add up and all these different things, they all sound vaguely familiar because they're all Resident Evil related, so that all kind of... Blah, blah, blah. I think you played Resident Evil 5 with them? No. Oh, that one. They, we played a little bit yes. of it. Yeah, that was fun. That was, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, uh, that was through Discord, but I did that. I remember now. Yeah, that was very cool. Yeah, well, I'm glad it worked oh. out well. So that's nice. Okay. Now you're gonna have to play Resident Evil 5 with me. Oh, right now I really can't. I just <laughs> No, not right now. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Gente, eu falei pra ele que agora ele vai ter que jogar Resident Evil 5 comigo porque ele jogou com o pessoal do Crimson Head. Tá? Então ele vai ter que jogar comigo também qualquer hora dessa. Um, gente, perguntas Alguém quer mandar perguntas? Um, questions, everyone? I think uh, Instagram uh, Limits the live streams For like one an hour, hour? Yeah, yeah oh, one hour right. Gente, a gente vai ter uma hora de aula De, de aula, de live <laughs> Tô falando tudo agora Tô bagunçando minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes We have more 20 minutes. A gente tem mais 20 minutos, gente. Uh, o uh, Gios is asking you, do you, have, do you still have contact with the other voice actors from Resident Evil 5? Well, the, talk slow, DC. The thing with yes, Resident Evil, or no, the thing with voice acting is, unless you're doing a cartoon, you never really see any other voice actors. Maybe if you're in a commercial and you're, you're recording together. The voiceover for uh, video games is always one at a time. So I never met anybody when I was doing my sessions. Um, but we know each other through parties or conventions and sometimes like cartoon or commercial work. So for instance, Roger Craig Smith, I've, who played Chris, I've met him maybe two times in my life, uh, but online we're friendly. Uh, really, really fun, smart, talented human being. Um, and you should follow him if you're not following him. Follow Roger Craig Smith. So, uh, so we, and he just, I, I reached out to him recently. Slow down. I reached out to him recently to do uh, the voice in a parody video. I, not parody, but the sort of a parody video. The COVID-19 video I did with Wesker telling you how to uh, get your masks together. Um, in case you guys haven't seen that, it's pinned on my Twitter profile at Mr. DC Douglas. Go there, watch the video. Um, anyway, so he's he was very kind and gave me a voice for that. Um, as did the new uh, actress Nicole Tompkins, who's doing uh, Jill in the RE3 remake. 
Uh, in the RE5, though, I, RE5, I'm trying to think of the other actors that are in that. Uh, it's from, it's um, Eva Ladere and um, who else? Some of these other actors I don't know and I haven't run across. TJ Storm, Alan Groves. Yeah, I don't know any of these people. Yeah, okay, no yeah. problem. I know, anyway. people from, I know more people in RE6 than, than 5 come, come to me, like Courtney Taylor and um, Troy Baker. Uh, the um, There's, uh, oh, Todd Habercorn. Uh, I don't know if he's in 6, but he's uh, he's been in several and he's in the, the remake. Um, yeah, yeah. I know the guy who plays, um, uh, who's the nemesis? I know the guy who plays nemesis in the remake. He's actually- it's Neil, right? Yeah, we're about the same height. Neil Newbon, Newbon. Yes, he's a sweetheart, yes. So. Yeah, he's, got, he's giving me an interview very soon, so. Is he really? Oh, yeah. Hey, tell him I said hello but... and, I'll, and I'll never eat eel again because of him. <laughs> and by the way, I know you know Mary Elizabeth oh, McLean. Yes, yes, yes. She's your sister, your yes, Wesker my sister. My sister. She also is one of the first directors I worked with in anime dubbing. Uh, Richard Epcar was the first, and I think the second was Mary Elizabeth McLean. Uh, uh, it was a sweetheart, yeah. A lot of sweethearts. Oh, and I can you think. ask her? Sorry, go ahead. Can you ask her? Can you ask her to give me an interview, please? It's like my dream. I can. All I can do is send a thing and say they would love to have you. And it's like, but she, you know, she's first off, she's very busy. Even in this pandemic, she's still a, a pretty busy person. Um, and also, she's not just LA. I think they also live in Hawaii, and they, she also travels a lot for her music. So it's really hard to pin her down for that kind of thing. But I'll, I'll send out a thing to her. Okay, so. Since you know, um, since you know Nicole, maybe Wesker and Jill could have a conversation for a Resident Evil database, something like that. <laughs> well, we'll find out. We'll see. Yeah, uh, she's uh, she's new to the game, and she and since we know each other, she doesn't trust me. So. <risos> okay. Gente, ele, alguém perguntou como que é, tipo, se ele, conhe... se ele ainda tem contato com os outros dubladores do 5. E ele falou que, na verdade, as pessoas. Sorry, I just. It's a mirror. I can't get the hair just right. And then I'm like, why do I even bother? Because I'm not going to see anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I see my husband, so I have to stay. Oh, there you go. And I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta keep my cats happy. I want them hot for me. Yes. So. Yes. <laughs> Mas ele tava falando que, let me translate, man. <laughs> I'm a Wesker too. You'll give me silence. <laughs> Clamp down the words. Clamp down. So instead of you will give me, go, you will give me. You will give me silence. Yeah, even better. There you go. Ah, thank you. Enfim, gente, eu tava falando, né? Daí ele falou que eles geralmente eles gravam um de cada vez, então eles não têm muito contato. Mas que ele conhece algumas pessoas, né? De trabalhar em outros projetos, de anime, de, de, né, de desenho e tal. E aí ele falou que é, ele mantém né, contato com o Roger Craig Smith, que ele encontrou duas vezes, que é o Chris, inclusive. Uma dessas vezes foi quando... A gente, eles fizeram aquele vídeo lá, né, pra Wesker Week, né, ele, o Roger e a Mary Elizabeth McLean. E aí eu falei pra ele, né, poxa, ele podia fazer a voz lá, uma conversa, né, com a Nicole, que é do Bodoro da Diva, seria muito legal e tudo mais. People are saying I am Alex Wesker in person. Yes, yes, you are. You make a lovely <laughs> You know, something I can tell you now that that game's been out for a long while, uh, Revelations 2, is that... Revelations 2, that's the one with Alex Wesker, right? Uh, yes. We recorded, uh, not at the same time, but I know that she did her side of it. Uh, we recorded uh, a whole scene that was supposed to be like, a, what do they call it? A, an egg, not an egg, but not an egg. They call it um, a, hidden a hidden thing, Easter egg. Uh, so it, we recorded an Easter egg for that game that I guess is not in the game because no one's ever found it. But it's a scene where we're in hell We're both dead and in hell. And then we start having a little brother-sister fight. It's really cute. But it's not in the game. I guess they decided not to use it. I know. Oh, But no. Just like in the, the game Umbrella Corps uh, that came out, that it's more of a shooter game, so people didn't really care. But if you got into it, you realize it's actually canon. 
and Wesker's in it. So is Wesker canon? Like, is he alive or not? And uh, in there, I recorded a, a short monologue saying the rumors of my death are greatly exaggerated. Um, and it was this really cool little, and then after I recorded it, I'm like, guys, does this mean what I think it means? And the guys producing the game were like going, we don't know, we were just told to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> really? I, oh! Somebody told me that they found it, and then they sent me like a huge file that I, I should go look for that link. I never downloaded it because I got sidetracked. Um, but I don't think, I've never heard it. I'd be curious to see. Oh, that's what, they sent me a link to all the sound files from the game. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to go through all my sound files to find it, so. Well... Gente, ele falou que teve uma cena dele com a Mary Elizabeth McLean, que é a, a dubladora da Alex, em que era pra eles meio que brigarem no inferno, assim, os dois Weskers tendo uma briga de irmãos no inferno, mas que essa cena foi cortada, infelizmente. Do you still remember the lines from that, uh, that fight with Alex Wesker in Revelations 2? No, I don't. I just, I just know that we were bickering, that's all. And it was like, and it was something about how it was hot because we were in hell. Um, and that was, that's all I remember from it, yeah. Ah, ok. Ah, ele falou que só lembra que o inferno era muito quente, porque eles estavam no inferno. Enfim. Uh, let me find more questions here. Or... Uh, oh, by the way, do you know Resident Evil Resistance is a multiplayer from Resident Evil 3? Yes. Yes. I've looked into it. I'm still yeah. into it. I, I may want to come play with it, yeah. Okay. Uh, by the way, is there some kind of conversation for Wesker to be in this game? I don't know. No one's contacted me. Oh, shit. Stupid Capcom. Sorry. If I were in Capcom, you would be a mastermind in Resident Evil Resistance. I was surprised that they didn't do that, but then again, I mean, who knows? Maybe they're still saving it for for another special, you know, Wesker-centric game in the future, so. But they really should go back and do a game where you kind of chronicle, you know, the, the, the parts about the storyline that we don't know about Wesker. Like, who did he have sex with? Who, who, who fathered, who was the mother to his, uh, to, to his son? Who was that woman? I think that it's important to know. Yes, what if I think it is. Game and it was partly romance with Wesker and somebody. That would be pretty wild. Yeah, I don't know how Wesker would have a romance with someone. By the way, I don't know how, how Wesker would procreate with someone. He's like, I'm a god. I don't need to procreate. Oh, no, no, no. He could easily put his penis in something. But I would, <laughs> but I would say, yeah, no, in the way he would romance somebody would be very similar to the way Trump romances somebody. It's like you, you, you think that they that They say all the right things, but it's just, it's just they're, they're imitating what they've seen. Because it's all about themselves. It's all selfish, so. Gente, a gente tava falando um monte de besteira aqui, tá? Acho que vocês entenderam muito bem que a gente tava falando que, não, o Wesker procriar, né? Coisa estranha. E ele falou que o Wesker colocaria facilmente o Weskerzinho dele em alguém, né? E ele falou que gostaria de um jogo sobre isso, pra falar as origens, né? Do Jake, né? Quem era, a, quem é a mãe do Jake? Ninguém sabe, ninguém sabe. Anyways, more questions, mais perguntas, gente. Mais oh, last question. Last question. Just yeah. One more question only. Okay. Oh, someone is saying that uh Resident Evil is being rebooted. So maybe they, you're still alive. Did they said they were rebooting Resident Evil with with RE7? Uh, right? Yeah. So that was the reboot. Yeah. So why would they reboot it again? No, and I know oh, and actually sorry. Say this? Yeah, I can because I have nothing to do with it. Uh, no, I can't say. I really, they asked me not to say anything. Okay, never mind. I won't say anything. But I don't think that that's the case. Is what I'll, all I'll say is I think that they're going to stay on the path that they are on with Resident Evil 7. For now. From what I know. What do you know? I can't, that's all I can say. But I can say that. Well, here. Well, here. Well, no, when I talk to you personally, I can tell you. <laughs> but uh, but I, what I can say, and I would tell you to you in person as well, is that, again, no plans for Wesker. There's nothing of saying that he's alive or anything. So, yeah. I mean, the minute, Gente, the, just the minute that happens and, you, and that I'm in an interview like this, I would basically have to say, 
I'm sorry, I, I can't confirm or deny anything. That's the, yeah. that's the ticket. Can you hear me say that? Gente, ele falou que, assim, a princípio ele não sabe se tem planos pro Wesker, mas ele sabe de alguma coisa que ele não quer me contar. De algum jogo, de algum jogo que ele vai estar. Tá. Alguma coisa. E é isso, ele tá brincando com a gente. Uh, we have an expression here in Brazil that says Estão deixando a gente sonhar. It's something like uh, people are letting us dream. They're letting us dream. <laughs> you are letting us dream, man. Everyone should dream, man. Life's all about dreams and possibility. Without dreams, you don't have creativity. Without creativity, you don't have solutions. Without solutions, then we all stagnate. And if we all stagnate, then we die. Oh. Dream on! Dream on. Dream on. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! There we go. <laughs> okay, stop it. <laughs> One more question, everyone. That's the last question, and then we are. Yeah. We'll stop this live, okay? So we have eight minutes. Eight minutes is all we. Oh, what was the sentence? Eight. Is all I can spare seven, to play with you. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spare to play with you. You heard a man. Vocês ouviram, né? A gente tem sete minutos para terminar essa live. Então, uh, última, última pergunta. Tem que ser uma pergunta muito boa, hein? Vocês não, não me desapontem. Não me, não me decepcionem. Manda uma pergunta muito boa. Bora lá. Chris had a bromance with Wesker before the mansion? What the fuck? I asked for a good question. Was that a question or was that a statement? It sounded to me like that was just basically someone dreaming on, which is what we were saying. It's good to dream on. Hey, I think I just saw Nicole Tompkins. Are you on this? Are you on this right now? Really? I think she's on this, hey. gentlemen. I think we have the Jill from Resident Evil 3 is on this interview. Who, uh, oh my gosh. And I got to tell you, Nicole, if you're on here, The Brazilian fans are the best. They were my first fans, actually, back in the day when nobody was, like, cared. There she is, right there. Grab oh, my gosh! Hey, hey, can you? You know what? Take a, take a minute and talk with her and say goodbye to me, okay? Nicole, uh, we can't, I don't see a thing here how we can request an interview with you, but go pull up Nicole Tompkins from the video and say hi to her, okay? And I'm going to say goodbye. Oh. Go get Nicole right now. Go, go no, no, wait, 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 please, please, Nicole, talk to us, talk to us, yeah, please, no, please, 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 please. Go, go to your video thing, because I posted before, go to your video, go up there and select her. You can invite her to go to, on video with you. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. No, she's a sweetheart. Okay. You'll love her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you doing Please. Oh, yes. There you go. Okay, I'm going to go by. Say hi to her. You've got like five minutes to say hi to her. Bye. Bye, I love you all. I, lo I love Brazil. We love you. Oh, gente, eu vou chamar a Nicole. Eu não sei Gente, eu tô morrendo. Gente, eu tô passando mal. Gente, é sério, eu tô passando mal. Eu tô passando mal. Meu Deus do céu, meu Deus do céu. Hello, hello. Oh, my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Hello, how are you? Oh, good. Joe's my favorite character, so this is very special to me. Ah, mine too, but I'm biased, so high five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Nicole. Of I'm so course. happy for this. Oh my gosh, of course. DC is the man, so I had to I had to come over and say hello. <laughs> and uh, by the way, I was talking to DC Douglas. Oh, Jesus, for please forgive my English. It's horrible, no, and I'm very not. nervous. No, it's not. Um, I was asking uh, DC Douglas to invite you to record something for Resident Evil database like Wesker and Jill talking. That would be so nice. Ooh, that might be fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna see if... I don't know why. Oh. But Ooh, do you listen to me? Something fun. The, 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 the cinematics director, Steve Knievely of Resident Evil 3 also just joined. Really? Yeah. Oh my god! Director, so uh, shout out to 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 Nega Steve. Please give me an interview, Steve. Please, please, 
I love that. Oh my God. Jesus, I'm so nervous. Really. No, you're doing great. Are you kidding? <laughs> please send me a message, Steve. Please. Let's talk. <laughs> um, anyway, how, how is your quarantine going? Are you okay? Are you safe? Good. Yeah, we're safe. Um, I'm just staying at home. I'm with my family, which is really nice. So I, I have people to be around. Um, and my quarantine has been made amazing, mostly by fantastic fans and people that are playing RE3. My gosh, there's just been so much enthusiasm and excitement, and it just, it makes my heart soar, because, uh, you know, I clearly love, you know, what we do and, and, and getting to, to bring Jill to life, so it's been so much fun to see how excited everyone is. Oh, our time is over. Gente, eu tô morrendo. Eu não quero a Nicole de volta. Não, droga. Eu quero a Nicole de volta. Cadê meu Dio? Porcaria de Instagram. Ai, gente. Eu quero a minha Nicole de volta. Please come back, Nicole. If you're listening to me. Gente, é que o, o Instagram deixa uma hora só de live. E aí, tipo, cara, que ódio. Ai, caramba. Nicole, please come back to us. Gente, nós não tô acreditando nessa live. Sério, o diretor de dublagem do 3. O diretor do, de dublagem do 3 entrou aqui. Gente, é porque eu faço por aqui porque fica muito mais fácil, entendeu? Deixa eu ver se eu acho ela aqui. Só pra ela dar um tchau pra gente, né? Pelo menos. Não, só pra ela dar um tchau pra gente. Pelo amor de Deus, eu vou morrer, gente. Sério. Deixa eu tentar chamar ela aqui. Ai, não consigo chamar. Não creio. Ai, não acredito. Eu não consigo chamar ela. Ela teria que entrar pra eu chamar. Não acredito. Ai, gente. Ela é do Bolador da Dildo 3, Gabriel. Cara. Gente, mar... nossa, vocês não têm noção. Aproveita que ela tá on, mas eu não consigo chamar ela, eu não consigo chamar, entendeu? Eu não consigo chamar. Ai, que merda, velho. O nome dela não aparece na lista de pessoas que eu posso chamar. Ai, cara. Gente, eu tô me tremendo todinha, vocês não têm noção. Vocês não têm noção. O diretor de dublagem entrou também. Ai, cara, eu não acredito. Cara, eu... nossa senhora. Eu vou, eu vou tentar marcar com ela da gente fazer... É, eu, eu era pra ter avisado pra ela que a live ia cair, mas eu não consegui, porque ela tava falando e eu não quis interromper, Xandro. Mas, ó, eu vou tentar falar com ela pra ver se a gente pode fazer uma live juntas. Qualquer dia, tá? Então... Eu vou tentar... Gente do céu, gente, eu tô passando mal, vocês não têm noção, ela é muito fofa. Eu vou tentar mandar uma mensagem pra ela, pra ver se a gente... Pra ver se a gente consegue... Gente, sério, eu tô passando mal aqui. Pra ver se a gente consegue marcar uma live com ela. Ela não tá na lista de espectadores, se ela tivesse, eu chamava ela, mas... Ai, cara, eu não creio. Eu não acredito, cara, eu não acredito... Meu Deus do céu. Brasil do céu. Queria entrevista com o Nemesis. É, então, o Neil, eu só consegui entrevista pela assessoria. Aí a gente vai mandar. E eu vou ver com os membros se a gente faz pergunta pra ele. Mas enfim, cara, gente, eu tô passando mal. Nicole, if you're there, please send me a message. Please send the, the, the invite, please. Gente, a live caiu porque é tipo, é uma hora só que o YouTube deixa. Mas assim, eu vou tentar combinar com ela, tá? Eu vou, eu vou tentar combinar com ela uma live, tá bom? Tá? Eu vou tentar, prometo. Vou interromper aqui, vou mandar mensagem agora pra ela, tá bom? 
<risos> Tchau, gente. Eu amo vocês. Muito obrigada por tudo. Muito obrigada por... Muito obrigada por me proporcionarem isso. <risos> Beijo. Eu amo muito vocês. Muito obrigada. Muito obrigada.